Kylian Mbappe, Vinicius Jr. and the 21 best players in European club football for 2022-23, ranked. There have been plenty of top performers from all around the continent over the course of the past season, but who ranks above all others? Which players have had the biggest impact in Europe this season? Has it been Vinicius Jr. and his 40-goal contributions in all competitions? Has it been Kylian Mbappe, a winger who has dragged PSG to the League One title? Or does Ronald Araujo deserve recognition for anchoring Barcelona's European best defence? There have been plenty of standouts across Europe, with talent abound at traditional powers and plucky upstarts. Certainly, the likes of Napoli, Arsenal, and, to an extent, Barcelona, have been buoyed by some top players. The likes of Bukeo Saka, Martin Odegaard, Pedri and Victor Osimhen have all been vital for some of the continent's best teams. So, as the season comes to a close for good, Legion Football looks at the 10 best performers from around Europe in 2022-23. 10 Marc-André Ter Stegen, Barcelona Everyone seemed to be linked with a Barcelona exit last summer, and Ter Stegen was a surprise inclusion in the constant swirl of the rumor mill. But he showed exactly why he deserves to be at Camp Nou this year. Ter Stegen has been excellent all year, and set a new La Liga record for clean sheets, serving as the final barrier in Europe's best defensive side. And it's not like he never has anything to do, either. Ter Stegen led La Liga in save percentage by some distance, and re-established himself as one of Europe's best goalkeepers after a couple of poor seasons. Every title-winning team needs a top-class goalkeeper. Barca have theirs. 9. Lionel Messi, PSG Messi's club season is hard to quantify. After all, he lifted the World Cup less than six months ago, the defining achievement of this latter period of Messi's career, the moment that the best ever officially completed football. But there was some stuff to be played domestically, too, and Messi wasn't bad there, either. The Argentine had plenty of off-field controversies, not least a suspension for taking an unsanctioned flight to Saudi Arabia at a crucial juncture of the Parisian season, but his class was still present throughout. He will end the season with over 30 direct goal contributions in Ligue 1, a number on par with Kylian Mbappe. Messi won't be playing at Parc de Princes next year, but he certainly made a mark in his final campaign. 8. Robert Lewandowski, Barcelona Lewandowski was always going to score goals, the question was merely how many. He started his Barca career with a bang, pacing La Liga in goals for the first half of the season, and helping the Blagrana build what turned out to be an insurmountable lead at the top of the table. There have, admittedly, been some growing pains. Lewandowski hasn't entirely gelled with Ausmane Dembele yet and doesn't have a perfect understanding with Rafinha, either. A suspension in early 2023 stalled his campaign, and he never really hit the same heights of the first few months of the season. Still, Barca needed goals, and Lewandowski brought them in bunches. 7. Victor Osimhen, Napoli Osimhen refined his game in 2022-23, becoming a finely tuned number 9 at just 23 years old. There isn't much nonsense to Osimhen's game these days. The Napoli number 9 is ferociously direct, deadly in the box, and immense in the air. His understanding with Kveritskilia has been instrumental in Napoli's domestic success, with the two forming a deadly duo that has torn up Serie A. But Osimhen is more than capable of going alone, too, and terrifies opposing defences down the right channel. The striker has been linked with a Premier League move for nearly two years now, and it appears this summer, the window after his best season yet, that could finally happen. England beware. 6. Ronald Araujo, Barcelona. For Araujo, the tools have always been there. He's always been terrific in the air and an immense one-on-one -on -one defender. But he'd never been fit consistently enough to piece everything together. This season, though, he's become the undisputed leader of Barcelona's European leading defence. Perhaps his crowning achievement, though, has been his consistent marking of Real Madrid's Vinicius Jr. Whenever the Blagrana lineup against Los Blancos, Xavi has shifted Araujo to right back and charged him with keeping the Brazilian quiet. And it worked, the mark of a world-class defender. 5. Harry Kane, 
Tottenham. Kane enjoyed arguably his best season yet in North London, a fact that has somehow been lost in the circus that is Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. The England captain bagged 30 Premier League goals and served as the only positive in a miserable season for Spurs. But now, Kane must finally confront the choice he's been putting off for 12 months. With his contract due to expire in June 2024, and no pathway to immediate team success at managerless Tottenham, this is presumably the club's last chance to cash in, and the striker's most obvious opportunity to seek a move he's alluded to on a few occasions. Regardless of where he plays next year, odds are he will bang the goals in again. For Kylian Mbappe, PSG. Paris Saint-Germain endured a miserable second half to the season. They crashed out of the Champions League to a Bayern Munich side in turmoil, almost threw away League One, and were marred by a series of off-field issues. But Mbappe was the constant amidst a season of struggle. Although he was clearly bothered by a hamstring injury for a few weeks, the winger was PSG's undoubted talisman, scoring 28 league goals, and added 7 in Europe for good measure. And, crucially, he assured PSG fans that he will stay for at least another year, a welcome piece of good news for a club that has faced a deluge of negativity for months. 3. Vinicius Jr., Real Madrid. Is there a better one-on-one -on -one player in Europe? Vinicius Jr. has always been a world-class dribbler and undisputed showman, but this year, he fine-tuned his game, becoming a more regular goalscorer and provider of assists. Massive performances in the Champions League, such as his showing in the first legs against both Man City and Liverpool, showed that he can be a big-game player, too. Somehow, terrifyingly for anyone outside of Santiago Bernabeu, he's still 22. The best is yet to come. 2. Kevin De Bruyne, Man City. Where does De Bruyne rank among attacking midfielders in the history of English football? It's hard to think of many better than him, especially in recent years. Very few players in the Premier League era have been blessed with his quality of right foot and ability to read the game. This year figured to be a tricky one for the Belgian. Although the same Guardiola principles were in place, he had to adapt to a new system with new personnel. But he made the transition seamlessly, forming a deadly partnership with Holland that has Man City on the brink of a treble. 1. Erling Holland, Man City. Was it ever going to be anyone else? Man City didn't need to sign Holland to win the Premier League. The freakishly good Norwegian was brought in to take Pep Guardiola's side to Champions League glory, and he might yet do that. Until then, his 36 Premier League strikes, demolition of Arsenal in a crucial fixture in the title race, and five goals showing against RB Leipzig stand as evidence that this is a truly special striker, one light years ahead of the rest of Europe.